Right, well, here we are. And this is a happy day. I'd intended to get an early night last night and I sat down to just turn off my computer and I thought I'd just take a quick look at YouTube. And what did I see when I went into YouTube? The page you see before you now. Yep, you guessed it, I got a community strike on one of my videos. And, well, I'm a little bit flummoxed, I can't work out why. And I'll read you what it says up on screen and then I'll go through it and explain why I think it's weird and spurious. It says, Attention. As you may know, our community guidelines describe which content we allow and what we don't allow on YouTube. Your video, Convert 4K MKV to MP4 for use in Magic's Vegas, was flagged for review. Upon review, we've determined that it violates our guidelines. No reason why it violates the guidelines. No explanation to me as to why it violates the guidelines. I have no way of knowing what it violates or what I should do to videos in future to stop them violating these guidelines. So thank you, YouTube. This is very clear. This is like mud. How am I supposed to not violate your guidelines when they are so opaque that nobody can understand them and you won't even tell people what they've done wrong? Anyway, let me continue. We've removed it from YouTube and assigned a community guideline strike or temporary penalty to your account. And then it goes on to say, <laughs> and this is the funny bit for me, we don't allow content that encourages illegal activities or incites users to violate YouTube's guidelines. The only depictions of such activities that we may allow need to be educational or documentary in nature and shouldn't be designed to help or encourage others to imitate them. So... I don't actually understand here how converting an MKUV to an MP4 violates their guidelines. As I just said, they haven't explained to me why it violates the guidelines. The only thing I can think of is in the course of the video, I show how to download a video from YouTube. But what I'm talking about there very specifically is how to get clips so that you can talk over them for the sake of making review material. That's what I use it for. That's the whole point of the video. It was designed to help people be able to look at footage from say E3 or something like that and then take a snippet and then talk over it in order to do a review. So it falls under educational or documentary in nature from that perspective. The purpose of it was not expressly was not about encouraging people to steal others material because frankly I hate that myself. The idea of people going and wholesale taking somebody else's video and uploaded it just fills me with anger because it's been done to me. So if YouTube think that my purpose for making this video this video about converting one file format to another file format was about being able to copy other people's videos so they can upload them to YouTube. Well, they need to look at my other videos. They go on to say, when uploading a video, make sure to post as much information as possible in the title and description to help us and your review and your viewers understand the primary purpose of the video. Learn more here. Yeah, right. OK. It's clear in the title that it's about converting one file format to another file format. I even go into a description in the description explaining what I've just explained here. As far as I can tell, either this has been done with a, a bot or whoever reviewed it was high because I, I honestly, I can't get my head round how something as innocuous as this could be flagged. The impact of strikes. 
This is the first strike applied to your account. We understand that users seldom intend to violate our policies. No shit, Sherlock. That's why strikes don't last forever. This strike will expire in three months. Yay! Three months. And <laughs> three months. And if some tow rag comes along and makes a spurious flag against me in that time, or another spurious flag against me in that time, I could end up into a, in a situation where my channel goes down through no fault of my own, through through something I've done that I don't even understand what I've done wrong, because YouTube don't make it clear. They go on. However, it's important to remember that additional strikes could prevent you from posting content to your YouTube, to YouTube or even lead to your account being terminated. Well, thanks for that. Talk about a sledgehammer to crack a bloody nut. Look, other people have made videos about this in the past and frankly, this is utterly, utterly ridiculous. Unless somebody is deliberately stealing somebody else's material and you can prove it, YouTube should be erring on the side of caution. It's not like when I made a claim or I, I made a strike against somebody because they literally, they literally taken my video and then just re-uploaded it as their own. Now that's a cut and dried example of somebody stealing. I mean, you know, that goes even further than something like plagiarism. It's just outright blatant theft. And in, in a cut and dried situation like that, then OK, I can understand shutting it down, stopping it from happening. You know, you wouldn't let somebody just wholesale go around other people's houses and steal their shit, would you? But in a circumstance like this, where somebody can make a, a spurious claim against you or a, a, a community guideline strike or something like this, it beggars belief. And to not then give the person who made the video any information, I mean, how long is this? There's nothing here. And learn more. I haven't got into it yet, but I can, I can well, let's do it now. Let's see if we can go into it now. The importance of context. <sighs> oh God. From art, this is just broad strokes bullshit. There's no real information here, is there? Guidelines for what? I, I I don't I don't even get what this is saying here. Context is very important for all videos, but it's particularly important when posting graphic content. I'm not posting graphic. What the hell has this got to do with my video? Nothing. Oh. Let's go back. So that was about as much use as a chocolate teapot. <sighs> the impact of strikes. This is the oh, we've been through this. How you can respond. If you believe this was a mistake, we'd like to hear from you. Really? <laughs> YouTube, you want to hear from me. Do you really? Do you? Do you really want to hear from me? Because from what I've heard, people that are much bigger than me are shouting into the wind. You don't respond. Talking to you is a complete and utter waste of time. But hey, you know, I thought, whatever, I'll try it. Anyway, it says here, please follow both of these steps as simply deleting the video won't resolve the strike on your account. OK. <laughs> it says, the next time you sign in, you will be asked to acknowledge this strike on your account. And it says here, I acknowledge. Yay! If you would like to appeal this strike, please submit this form. Our team will thoroughly review your appeal and will con contact you again very soon. Will they? OK, so let's click on this form. I've clicked on it. 
I'm waiting. No, maybe it just didn't work that time. So let's do it again. One, two, three, click. Mm. Where's the form? No, no form. Let's, let's see if we can load it up again. Let's try one more time. Nope. Nope, still not. Nope. If you would like to appeal this strike, please go fuck yourself. I think that's what they're trying to tell me. Our team will thoroughly review and appear your appeal and will contact you again very soon. How exactly are they going to do that? Because when I click on the thing for the form, I can't fill it in. Nothing. Nada. Zilch. Thanks, YouTube. Brilliant. So I've no idea why this had a strike against it. I've no idea who flagged it. I've got no way of getting in touch with them to, to dispute it because the link seems to be broken. I mean, maybe if I click acknowledge, then I might be able to go in and do it from there. But I'm frankly, I'm just angry. But a lot of people looking at this will be looking at this and they'll be panicking. And frankly, last night when I sat down and I looked at this, I'm like, well, what, 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 what the hell's going on? And look, th this to me is just a snippet. I'm, just, I'm a small guy. If my YouTube account gets taken down, it will bloody annoy me. But at the end of the day, it it's not a hill of beans to me, really. I can go and do something else. It'll be a shame. All these videos I've created, all these years I've put in doing this. It's been like, what, three years now I've been doing it. And I've had a small channel for three years and I've met some good people and it's been fun. But this... Is it worth me carrying on against this kind of thing? And and this this brings me to another issue. This this whole thing. This this feels to me. And look, I, I don't want to go down the rabbit hole of conspiracy theories, but this feels to me a bit like the war of attrition that's going on. It see it feels like a war of attrition that YouTube are waging against small YouTubers. This kind of stuff happens all the time, and. There's literally nothing we can do. They don't talk to us. They don't listen to us. Every time they change their guidelines or they change their policies, they're worse. While at the same time, they're telling us they're getting better for us. Look what happened when they took out loads of people from monetization. And they said you had to have a thousand subs and how X number of views. I can't remember the number. And we were told this was to get rid of all the people who were just, you know, mass uploading other people's stuff and just trying to steal content. And, all. and that's why they did it. And some YouTubers were saying, you know, it's a good thing for genuine YouTubers. It'll be a good thing. And was it? Was it? Fuck. Ever since then, what's happened? If you look at just my account, but I've heard loads of people, people way bigger than me have been making videos and talking about this. And, you know, your sub count keeps going up and up and up. Meanwhile, your view count is stagnant. And why is that? It's because YouTube aren't pushing any of your videos to your subscribers. Your sub count means nothing. The people who want to watch your videos to YouTube mean nothing. They're not interested in what you want to watch. They're interested in what they want you to watch. And from a, a, a creator perspective, if you're a small guy, as I say, it, it, it could just be that this whole thing is the frustration has got to me and, and I'm reading too much into it. But it feels like YouTube just don't want us anymore. And it feels like they're trying to squeeze us out. And whether this is part of that, I don't know. I, I would suggest probably not. And, and I don't you know, I, I really don't want to get into that. But it is a symptom of their complete disregard for both the viewers and the small creators and even medium sized creators. You know, people like Jim Sterling. I mean, he's he's a big YouTuber, you know, when you compare him against some minnow like me and even he's having problems. You know, Boogie T988, he's, he's, he's been pretty upfront about having issues with his channel. He puts it down to him, but I'm not sure that it is. I get the feeling with YouTube that they just, 
they don't want to be YouTube anymore. And and whether this, as I say, whether this has got anything to do with that, I couldn't say. But it it's such a frustrating experience when there is literally no interaction. You know, I feel like Joseph K in the trial. He's accused of something. He's not told what it is. He has to try and prove his innocence, but he's got no way of doing that because he doesn't know what it is he's guilty of or been accused of. And so he keeps going round and round and round in circles, getting nowhere because it's all stacked against him. And that's what this feels like. And whether that's the case or whether it isn't, the perception out there, YouTube, is that you are against your creators, that you do not care about us. Not one jot. And we have to deal with this kind of shit. But how exactly? You know, I mean, OK, look, let's be honest, this is probably just a cock up. But really, on something like this, a cock up, I can't even click it. What the hell? Really? Come on. So all I can do now is click acknowledge. What that'll do, I don't know. So I'm going to go and do that now. And there you go. I've acknowledged it. And now what? What am I supposed to do now? Appeal this decision. I can do it from there. Let's hope this link works. <sighs> Attention, you have requested an appeal against the community guidelines warning sanction for the following videos. Convert 4K MKV to MP4 for use in Magic's Vegas. You may only appeal each video once. Before proceeding, we recommend that you review the community guidelines again. For God's sake. Do you still wish to proceed? Yes, I still wish to bloody proceed. Reason. <laughs> I feel like just typing Franz Kafka in here. But anyway, look, I'm I'm going to I'm going to end the video there and I'm going to have a think about what precisely I'm going to say in this tiny little window that probably allows me a small number of words uh because I would like to write them an essay explaining uh that I don't really know why this has been flagged. But obviously it's, <laughs> I don't know how many words I'm getting, what, 100 words, if I'm lucky, 50, 30, I don't know. So anyway, look, I, I'm sorry if this has been a bit of a rant, but I, I just literally sat down and splurged on this one because this is, this is utterly ridiculous. And YouTube, it, YouTube, you, it's just become completely untenable. I mean, you know, ne never mind as a, as a creator, I'm in a situation as a viewer now where I go into YouTube and half the stuff I'm seeing in my feed is bullshit that I don't want to watch. So wh why? why? Why would I bother staying, really? That's how I feel at the moment. Look, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to carry on making videos or attempting to, hopefully no, because this, this is another thing. This is an old video. It's been up for months and months and months and it's just got flagged now. So there could be a scenario where in the next few days, if my channel disappears, I apologize. There's nothing I can do. If my channel disappears in the next few days or weeks, or even in the next three months, if I get, you know, two, three more, uh, well, what, what, another two strikes, I think it is, three strikes and you're out. If I get another couple of strikes in the next three months, then I'm gone. And, and, and why? What, what exactly have I done wrong? I don't know. Call me Joseph K. YouTube. But as I say, I'm, I'm going to do this offline. Um, maybe I'll do a follow up video. It, 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 what I suggest you guys do, though, is please just follow me on Twitter, because if my channel goes down, you'll know why. I can tell you on Twitter or even, you know, come across the Discord. I'm, I'm usually on Discord, you know, probably once or twice a day. I go into my Discord channel as well. But yeah, I don't know. I, I you know, if, if, if several of my other videos, my older videos get flagged, I'm gone. 
and I, I don't know why. That's the reality of it. And this is happening to <laughs> a few fair few people, so I understand it. Maybe YouTube are just culling us. Maybe they are. But anyway, look, you know, I've gone on long enough and I'm sure you guys want to sit here and listen to me rant on. So I'm going to finish up. I'm going to go and, and fill this in and I'll go and get myself a cup of tea and probably go and hit the hay because it's quite late. All right. Anyway, thanks for watching this one. Hopefully there'll be more for you to watch as time goes on and I won't disappear off the face of YouTube. <sighs> Bye.